Wow, the sunlight is perfect to show you some of the plants I have in my living room. Of course, it gets more crowded when I have to bring the plants in from the polytunnel. And uh, there are a few missing because we're having a little cat visitor stay with us this weekend. My daughter's bringing her adorable cat for a few days. And uh, so I put away the poisonous ones like the pencil cactus. I did like how this streamlined arrangement looked and um, I've tried to integrate it with some of my blue and white pottery. I have some blue and white pots that I have the plants in, but I thought it would look uh, more like home decor and less like plants crowded around the window if I did that. So let me just show you what we have here. I'll start over here with the beaver tail cacti cuttings that I did and all looks well. I did lose one cutting on the right side but it seems like they're doing okay. I have not watered these so they're in dormancy. Let me bring you down here so you can take a look. But they get a nice bit of sunshine in the morning and that's all they need to get them through the winter. It's not uh, perfect conditions but they're warm and they have a little bit of sun and no water until springtime. And then I have my big aloe plant here. I think I did a repotting video on this one. I hope you can see in the light. Maybe that's a little better angle. But it's doing really well in its terracotta pot. I think terracotta is a really good choice for aloes because they do dry out very nicely in between waterings. And these I am giving water. Um, one reason I am watering them is they're near a heating vent, so um, that also dries my plants. So even though you, you're supposed to lighten up in the winter, I don't necessarily do because they just dry out faster. Just recently I repotted some of my jades into a bonsai pot that I had downstairs, and I took cuttings from another jade and uh, used another blue bonsai pot that I had gotten at the same time as this one. And guys, this is the one that I repotted. Now I did lose a couple of the stalks, but it has finally, finally plumped out. As you recall, if you watched that video, it was pretty dehydrated. So um, I wanted to put it in a better quality soil and it looks like it's done the tricks. These were pretty droopy in their pot and I thought that they were getting too much water. So um, that's why I put them in a bonsai pot. It, it will dry out faster and give those roots a chance to, to just dry out and I think that's preferable for jade plants. But I do still have my jades back here in pots. This one's getting quite a lovely tree-like structure. But that has a lot of the um, oyster shell gravel in it, so that also does drain better. But isn't that pretty? And the leaves look nice and plump. So I think overall I'd have to say the jade collection is hanging in there and this is morning sun I mean Jade's really would prefer all day sun but this is the best I have and um, their growing period is actually in the winter and in the winter time I have more sun coming in here because the big tree outside loses its leaves for the winter of course where I live in Maryland so I'd have to say the Jade collection is doing pretty well and while I'm down on the floor let me just show you back here. These are tucked back here because we have our little grand kitty visiting. But I have um, three beautiful plants down here, two aloes and a guest area. And they're doing well. They, they do tend to dry out a bit because they're right next to that heating vent. But um, this is a guest area. This is a star aloe and this is an aloe oik and I do water these probably once a week. And then that was my atrocious aloe repot doing really well. It's become one of my favorite aloes. It went from being terrible looking to being a very pretty aloe plant. And then right behind it doing okay is um, kind of a aloe 
Haworthia mix. So, um, you know, it's doing well. I have heard that they're hard to keep alive, so I'm pretty happy that I've had it for a couple of years. And then all along here are four pepper plants that I've really pruned back pretty hard. And then I don't know if you can see, but all the way at the end, I have my San Pedro cactus. Up on this table, I have my Sansevieria cuttings. This was my saving my Sansevieria from myself video where I put these cuttings in water and they've rooted and done quite well. So I'm really happy to give you a good update on that. Well, I am just delighted. It looks like all of the flowers on my amaryllis have bloomed. This was one of the original ones I planted on a video. And it is in a pot that Aunt Shirley gave us with lots of pink in it. So I'm really excited to see that it's a pink bloom. But look at that, guys. So I've brought it out here to enjoy. I have them kind of tucked away until they bloom, and then I bring them out into the house. Isn't that beautiful, guys? I was really excited to see this one was pink. I think several of the ones that I have are red. So I am really enjoying this. Here it is from the other side. That is just so beautiful. It's got a green throat and beautiful pink petals. On the top of this plant stand I have my mistletoe cactus which has gotten really big and I love that and it's put out some new growth up top and that looks tall and skinny and then it ends up growing all these wonderful branches. So I'm wondering if it's called mistletoe cactus because a lot of the growth happens around the holidays. I'm not sure about that but it sure is a beautiful plant. And I have a Thanksgiving cactus here. It gave me a couple of blooms, not much to talk about, so I didn't do a video on it. I have some spider plant cuttings back here. And I have a dish garden that my husband gave me probably two years ago. And it has gotten really overgrown, and I think it probably could use some work. I might split up some of the plants in there and do a little pruning, but it's it's done really well in this spot. It likes all the light. And then in the back here, I have what's called a spice cactus. And that too seems to be growing now. That was one that I pruned back and I was uh, pretty upset because nothing happened for a full year, but now it's starting to grow new branches and I think it's doing much better. So those are my rip, two Ripsalis cactus over here doing well in the morning sun. So guys, that wraps up my living room plant tour. I hope the light made it possible for you to see how well everything is doing. And I really like how it looks. And I hope everyone had a very happy holiday and a happy and healthy new year. Thanks for watching. Bye.